Hello and welcome to a new Animal Life video. Today we want to talk about teacup dogs because of their increase in popularity among possible dog owners and breeders. Keep watching if you wish to learn all about these tiny pets that can fit in the palm of your hand. What are teacup dogs? A teacup dog can be found in different types of breeds, but what connects them together is their small size. A teacup dog weighs no greater than 4 pounds and should be fewer than 17 inches tall once they reach adulthood, though these measurements have yet to be standardized. To create a teacup dog, breeders cross the tiniest of dogs from each litter with other small dogs. They keep up this genetic selection of small dog breeding until obtaining the desired size. The solely economic aim of this method of breeding and that it presents health risks leads us to discuss further the reasons how come it's not recommended or ethical to buy a teacup dog. The most popular breeds of teacup dogs are Yorkshire Terriers, Spaniels, Chihuahuas, Dachshunds, Beagles, Pugs, and Poodles. Although there are lots of other breeds which have been inbred as teacup dogs also. Lifespan Typically, inbreeding can dramatically shorten a dog's life expectancy. For inbred teacup dogs, their life expectancy would be close to their original sized breed version, but because of the health risks and psychological problems, their life expectancy can be shortened significantly. Even though smaller dog breeds often have a longer life expectancy than their larger counterparts. This does not hold true with the teacup dog. Health problems in teacup dogs. The harsh breeding practices breeders engage in causes teacup dogs to be even more likely to suffer all sorts of health problems that can cause these canines to lead a sad, miserable life. Many of the health problems seen in teacup dogs are connected to genetic factors. The most typical are hypoglycemia, heart defects, collapsing trachea, seizures, breathing problems like dyspnea, and tachypnea, digestive problems, liver shunts, gum disease, patellar luxation, hydrocephalus, and weak bones. Teacup dogs also fall victim to several psychological issues that are directly correlated to their small size and breeding process. Chronic stress, behavioral problems like Napoleon Syndrome, and learning difficulties, to name a few. Harsh breeding practices. The issues with their health are primarily caused by harsh breeding practices that have been implemented due to increased desire for this sort of dog because of their increase in popularity in the recent years. The reality is, a lot of breeders do not possess appropriate licenses to breed in ideal conditions, as a lot of these dogs have been shown to have been born on industrial type breeding farms with barely any sanitation measures in place. Issues with breeding Additionally, breeding mothers are made to be pregnant both at the finish and the start of their cycle, meaning they can be born too early, leading to even more problems. After being born, teacup puppies risk malnutrition and are adopted or sold before reaching 8 weeks old, which is the period they must spend with their mother. This all leads a lot of the puppies to pass away of different deformities and diseases prior to even being sold. How to care for a teacup dog As we've discussed the plethora of issues which can occur in a teacup dog, meaning you have to provide them particular care if you have adopted one. Pay particular attention to these requirements for their care. Teacup dog diet. To prevent hypoglycemia, teacup dogs should be fed three or four times daily or approximately every three hours. Aside from providing them food that's adequate to their needs, also add caro syrup to their food to help reduce low blood sugar levels. Improve their diet by giving food high in omega-3 fatty acids minerals, and vitamins. Keep stress levels low. It's imperative to be certain your dog does not suffer stressful situations. To do this, develop a schedule for your dog. 
Pay them particular attention and engage in play for quick bursts of time. Teacup dogs need to sleep for 14 hours, so be sure you assist them to burn their energy, but in tiny amounts so they don't strain their tiny bodies. It is not recommended to bring them around with you, particularly if you reside in an urban area or are going places that the dog is not familiar with, as all the action happening around them can create anxiety. They much prefer the comfortable surroundings at home. Veterinary care. If you notice any of the symptoms previously discussed, you need to bring your dog to the vet right away. Veterinary bills can often be costly in regards to teacup dogs because of the amount of times they might need to receive medical attention throughout their lifetime. That's all from Animal Life. We hope this video was helpful to learn more about teacup dogs. Like if you enjoyed this video and share to build awareness about the truth of teacup dogs. See you soon.